Okay, so Construct 3 is finally out. Okay, so and today we're going to review it. Before we begin, we publish videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Help me rank this video higher on YouTube by simply leaving a like or dislike. Every user interaction helps. But first, let me show you the latest comments. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. My name is Sparkman. Okay, so let's open our browser and uh, we are gonna go to construct.net. Oh wait, I forgot this is not live. <laughs> we can edit this. Okay, so if you are on the website, let's get started. Let's press the uh, get started button. Yeah, you can use the free trial version, which allows you to create HTML5 games. Let's launch Construct 3. Okay, so Construct 3, uh, right. Okay, so there is a new version, so let me update this. And that's already updated. That's good. All right, so this is what you get when you first open the software. Um, and uh, I guess we can go file new, new project. Let's give it a name. What can we call this? Let's call it a Lith Super Game. Okay, so I'm going to choose a preset. Let me see. We want this to be probably landscape. Optimized for pixel art. Yes, we want that. That's good. And here's my project. If you press the middle button, you can pan. I just discovered that. I had never used this software before. So if you right click, you can uh, insert a new object. This is what you get. Create new object type. Okay, you can uh, insert uh, database objects, all kinds of different objects, form objects, form controllers. This is really good. I'm liking this. So you can also insert uh, general stuff like functions, particles, lights, sprites. Oh, my favorite. Uh, you can insert fonts, uh, tile backgrounds, and tile map. Whoa, this supports tile maps, which is good. Now for input, gamepad, keyboard, mouse, and touch. Oh, this supports touch screen too, which is good. Now for media, you can insert a uh, sound, obviously. Geolocation, I don't know what that is. User media, uh, I guess you can record from your webcam and microphone. Now for monetization, mobile advert, uh, mobile API, and pub center. Wow, I, I'm liking this already. Now platform specific, you got the Facebook, Game Center, Google Play Store, NWJS, what is that? I don't know. Zero, IK, Zero Arcade, am I pronouncing the company name right? It's a S, it's Zero, right? Twitter, the Windows Store, and Xbox Live. You, you can connect to Xbox Live, which is good. For where we have Ajax, I like that. That's a JavaScript and uh, PHP combined. Browser object, multiplayer, which a lot of you are going to be uh, interested in. And WebSocket which is commonly used for creating uh, chat rooms and things like that. So I guess for now we can insert a uh, sprite. Okay, so let's go sprite. The, here is the uh, sprite editor. I guess we can draw a picture. Okay, so let's just draw a simple picture. Let me just make it purple. I'll make things purple all the time. I don't know why. I just I just like making things purple. Uh, it's gonna be some sort of monster. There you go. Okay, that's the eye right there, and these are sort of like the ears. Let me see, we have a paint bucket here somewhere? Yes, we do. It's our fill tool. Let's call it the paint bucket for some reason. Now, if we wanted to animate this, how can we animate this? I guess you can um, duplicate this. Do we have onion skin? Show last frame. Okay, maybe I can delete this here. And I can see the previous frame, and I'm simply going to repaint the uh, the graphic. Okay, I guess uh, you can play this. You can preview the uh, the animation. And uh, how do you get this to loop? I mean, there's gotta be a way for this uh, to loop. How do you loop? Uh, let me just uh, exit this here. Okay, uh, here is my loop control. You can set up the speed, and I guess you can preview this from here. Preview. Okay, I'm sure you guys can do a better job with, uh, with the animations. For now, we're going to use this uh, super cheesy animation. Right, so let me just close this here. Now, I guess this will be the play button, so press the play button. Make sure you don't have a pop-up blocker. 
Okay, so why is this window bigger than my play area? So what if I change this uh, to 640 by 480? What would I get? 480. What do I get? Press play again. I get about the same. Why is that? Let's try a scale outer. See what that does. And that works fine. Alright, so that works fine. So let me just uh, scale this, make him a bit smaller. I think you can scale proportionally. I think, uh, can you hold shift and scale? Yes, you can. Show play Photoshop. I'm going to right click again and uh, let me insert another object. Another sprite. And uh, let me just make something here. Fill this with green. And maybe add some spots to this. Yeah, I like the layout, it's friendly. Why well, I wonder why. Now uh, can I change the back can I change the background color I want there? Let me see. How do you do that? I guess it has to be under the uh, window properties. Where is that too? Okay, let me just insert another sprite. There you go, that's a good blue. Paint it. And simply drag it across the screen. So let's run this now. And nothing happens. Because we haven't done anything with this. If you click on your object, that should give you properties. And uh, I guess it will be a behavior. Well, let's add a new behavior. We can select from attributes. We can make them a solid object. Give them shadows. Uh, you can give them a fade, fade effect, a timer. What can you do? Okay, platformer. Try that. Let's run the level. And he has gravity. Now he just needs to stop at the uh, at the grass here. And uh, I guess that will be an event. Uh, let's add a new event. Let's see. I don't see anything here to make our object stop. Maybe we had to do it through a behavior. Okay. Okay, so maybe it's like Game Maker Studio and you can just set this up to solid. See if that works. And that seems to work fine. Okay, so we got our character moving on the screen and jumping, which is always good. I'm gonna make another sprite. I'm gonna try to keep it consistent. I'm gonna make it green. Maybe this should be like, uh, I don't know, like orange or something. Place some dots here, just because we can. And obviously that's a little too big, so let me just resize this to something more manageable. Around that size. Excuse uh, the terrible graphics. I usually do better. Let's see, I'm gonna go to behaviors, add a new behavior, and uh, we got platform. What else we got here? We can make this solid, um, but we also can make it jump through. Okay, that's what we want. Walk up to it, jump, that works fine. The collision is a bit off, but uh, I think we can fix that. Looks like he's taking this uh, alpha as the uh, part of the collision. So let me just uh, bring it up higher. Then let's try it out. And that's much better. I'm gonna change the size of this to maybe um, 2000. So that was a lot bigger. So this doesn't follow the frame automatically, so there must be another way to do it. Now for the scrolling, I guess that will have to be a behavior. I think. Add a new behavior. I think I've seen this here earlier. Here it is. Scroll to. Press the play button. And that gives us our super easy scrolling. Wow. This program is so easy. Okay, so what if we want to change the behavior of this uh, object here? How do you do that? In platform. So let me just delete platform. And let's change this to something else. Uh, let's try eight direction. And now you can move in eight directions. Uh, he moves a little bit like a spaceship. Um, can I change this? Let me change this uh, to four directions only. Because okay, so he seems to auto rotate or something. Can I disable that? No angle. Okay. Much better. Now that, this will look cool if he was in sort of a spaceship. And now we're going to make a spaceship. 
an actual game right now, right? But I just wanted to show you that. Let me try to export this uh, to something else. We can export this as a Sierra Arcade game, HTML5, Android, iOS, uh, JNode, and for Xbox One. Wow, this software is awesome. Press next. Next again. Alright, so guys, that's it. That is our project. You can see that this software is extremely simple to use. I have never used this before and I practically made a game. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, press the bell next to the subscribe button. Okay. For more game development content, be sure to subscribe. We upload videos every day. So that's it guys. See you in the next video. Bye now.